You're invited, she said, giving me a flyer with mysterious symbols on it. Do you want to encounter love with me? And I felt I might as well. Her name was Susan. Susan turned out to belong to a religious cult, the last day's cleanliness, or shavenologists. She showed me around their headquarters, praising its clean, fresh surfaces, often with shimmering drops of water on them. It symbolizes virginal love, said Susan, hugging me. The shavenologist founder, Bud Shave, had designed the center himself, and also decided on the doctrine. Beards were banned, as was superfluous hair in general. But a well-grew mustache was quite acceptable, especially on uh, guys. Susan explained the basics of the doctrine. One day, the now dead founder, Bud Shea, would return to Earth by means of a gigantic laser beam, and all of those who belonged to the Shavenologists would receive their final reward. What the reward was, nobody knew. But you could get a preliminary idea if you bought one of the association's meditation courses. Susan hugged me again and said I could attend the first one completely free of charge. All the course participants had to sit in a big circle on the floor and blink very fast. Simultaneously, pictures of shaving products were shown. After nine hours of constant blinking, one did actually seem to see weird things. One person had seen a fantastic light and a cowboy with huge ears. Another had seen a sensor razor with mobile twin blades for a better shape. I myself saw a uh, big magnus, large fries, and a big soda being brought to me on a silver tray by two bunnies. Then I saw the three wise men riding a tortoise that was trying to bite them. Afterwards, Susan wanted us to enroll for some more courses. All you had to do was write down your annual salary and account number on the form. Just when we were about to sign on, a gang of angry guys stormed in and took us all, by force, to a private hospital for e-programming. Didn't cost anything. It was completely funded by sponsors.